Hi, this is Rachel, and we're going to look at drawing line graphs. So I've got a data set here. The question is draw a line graph. So line graphs are used for data that changes over time. So you can see my data set is looking at the number of ice creams sold for each day of a week. Uh, so we've got data that changes over time because Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is time series data because it's dates. And then we've got our numerical data as well. So line graphs for this type of data. Now, as usual, we start off with our two axes and we need to think about the scales for those. So, <laughs> I'm going to use a ruler and I'm going to use a pencil because you always use a pencil and ruler when drawing graphs and I'm going to see what my maximum number of ice creams is because that's the height I want my y-axis to be. So my maximum number of ice creams is 100 so I'm going to have a scale that goes up to 100. Um, now I'm going to use for this graph, I mean, I could use two squares for every 10, but I'm just going to use one. It'll give us a little, uh, a, a smaller graph, but I don't think that matters. So we're going to start up here and we're going to go down to 10 with each of these uh, boxes being 10. So 0, 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. There we go. And I'm going to label that axis with number of ice creams. There we are. And I'm now going to do my x-axis, which is my days of the week. So I am going to start one in. So I'm going to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Actually, I'm going to have two boxes per day. Because then that's giving me a bit of a bigger graph, a bit of a bigger space to play with. So, I'm just going to pop on my um, like lines for my scale. And then I'm going to write on my days of the week. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right. There we go. So we've got our um, x axis now, and I'm going to label that with day of the week. The axis labeling is pretty simple when you've been given a table of data because you literally just take the title of the table and that's your access label. Okay, so drawing a line graph. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot these points on this graph as if it were a scatter graph. So for Monday, 10 ice creams were sold. So I'm going to put a little cross for Monday. For Tuesday, 25 ice creams were sold. So there we go, I'm going to plot Tuesday. For Wednesday, 10. Thursday, 40 ice creams were sold. For Friday, 80 were sold. So we're going all the way up to 80 for Friday. Saturday, we sold 100. And Sunday, we sold 90. There we go. Now you can see that I have... A set of points. Now if this was a scatter graph I would join the line of S fit, but with a line graph you don't. With a line graph, data that changes over time, we join the points up. So I'm going to grab my ruler 
and one at a time I'm going to join these up. And there we go. There is a line graph showing how many ice creams were solved over the days of the week. Now there's one last thing we need to complete our graph and that is a caption. So again like the bar charts video, um, whether you include a title or a caption will depend on what kind of level you're at. So for high school, secondary school titles tend to be most normal but for um, later education or for if you're writing a report or something of that kind we tend to use captions so captions are done underneath a graph and we say figure and then we give it a number so this might be figure two and then we say what this figure this graph shows so it is a graph showing how many ice creams were sold over the course of a week, say. We don't have to get too technical. And there we go. There is our line graph.